Steam Sundays, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Shells, slugs, coils, and tentacles. It's time for this week's Steam Sunday profile. KCAL 9 meteorologist Danielle Gersh introduces us to one of LA's foremost snail scientists. I'm just waking it up after sleeping for a couple weeks. Hi there, little buddy. This is a really cool job. Inside a lab at the LA Museum of Natural History, Dr. Jan Vendetti spends another day exploring her passion. Here at the museum, I am the assistant curator of malacology. What's malacology? It's the study of mollusks. And just what is a mollusk? A snail is one, so is a conch, as is a clam, even an octopus. Well, they're just this huge branch of life that are all related to each other. We pulled up in the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab to learn more about them. Some have shells, some don't have shells, some have brains that are highly uh, developed. Some have no eyes and no brains. If you've ever eaten a clam, there's no head of the clam because they evolved to be headless. Weird, right? The characteristics that unite them are their body organs. The underside of this common garden snail reveals its tiny crescent-shaped mouth. It sees the world through eyes at the top of its tentacles. And it's a cousin of the creatures who once lived in these seashells. All of them except these two are snail shells. Of all the STEAM disciplines, malacology relies most on science. And in that science, uh, biology and paleontology. There's also some math. So there are rules that govern coiling. Take these two shells. So this one's coiling and making this shape. This one's coiling and leaving that shape. Because they follow the same rules of coiling, they fit together like light bulb and socket. It is coincidental but awesome math and the universe are amazing. Jan studies and helps document the museum's vast collection. Look at that, naturally that color. These shells came from Cuba. This one once housed octopus eggs. And this is the shell of a sea snail protected by smaller snails. As it grows, it adds on shells to its own shell. Why love the world of mollusks? It's exciting because that's the diversity of life. And because there's still so little known and so much to discover. This is something you can really do. Danielle Gersh, KCAL 9 News. Ooh, and for more on malacology and other STEAM careers, visit us at kcal9.com slash STEAM. And